Fantastic. Uh, Absolutely uh, amazing. Good. Oh, good. There's some words. Uh, but you, <laughs> I'm just so honoured that you wrote that for the show. Because yeah. you, you did how you were up against it, weren't you? Having to cut down your well, long yeah. Songs. I, I do, I, it's not. It's not an uncommon problem for me. Mm. I, 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 I do want to perform on television, but, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I either write really long songs or really rude songs mm. or really long rude songs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or really short rude songs, but never short not rude songs. Yeah, except tonight. Well, except tonight, yeah. yeah. Oh, I did it. And I really appreciate it because you're so busy at the moment. You're on tour. You've just been to Australia touring? Yeah, I just uh, did my big stupid orchestra thing. Um, do you take the same orchestra with you everywhere? Yeah, in the UK I do. In Australia I was picking up the state symphony orchestras, which was interesting because mm. they're, you know, they're the state symphony orchestra and they come in with their charts and they unpack their fiddles. They're perfectly polite but just professional, head down, sort of, what's this about? And they sort of, and then by the second rehearsal there, you know, and by the, <laughs> the second or third show they're swearing and it's really, I have to seduce the orchestra each time. Whereas over here I don't have to seduce them because I pay them. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Just like women, <laughs> men, <laughs> whatever you fancy. Did they, is it true that they took on your image a little bit, though? Well, that's the, that was the thing with the Sydney Symphony, because they were the kind of most upstanding... They, they, they're based at the Sydney Opera House, you know, they are the, the orchestra in Australia with the most respect. And I, t I came on stage and they hadn't told me, but all the violinists in the front row had teased their hair up. Oh, fantastic. And uh, it's just like... Oh, they've teased their hair <laughs> I, do, I don't do that. I've only, that's the first time I've ever done that. So. But your, your image is quite sort of trademark, because in the early days, you looked quite different. I think we've got a picture of you, actually. Oh, really? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you, you look a bit like Paul McCartney. Oh, thanks. Oh, I, I I've got a do. lot in common with Paul. <laughs> I, uh, I marry the wrong women. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a genius. Yeah. Where did you get from that to this, then? What was the, what was well, the journey of being... Actually, the... that is a little club in South Melbourne called the Butterfly Club, and if you jam them in, you can fit 40 people in the room, and mm. you're not allowed amplification or anything. And that's where I sort of started doing these cabaret shows, really, mm. that turned into what I do now. And... Even there, I reckon I was probably wearing a little bit of mascara and stuff because yeah. I because I come from a theatre background sort mm. of, and uh, you, you know that. And especially when your hands are trapped, I always was aware that people, if they can't see what's going on here, um, not even in that song there where I'm desperately reading the auto cue, I'm still, <laughs> you know, all my communications coming out of my eyes. So yeah. it really started like that, and then I grew my hair a bit and then got it chemically straightened, and, and I suddenly realised that you if say I you got it chemically, chemically straightened, straightened, yes. What does that mean? Well, it's like, uh, have you, uh, it's a perm, but it's... Uh, the opposite. Yeah, the opposite I've, I've, of have Michael's you had perm. Because you're no, a very I curly person. Most, of course. Because I hate wearing wigs, so yeah. I get my hair straightened when I And it's great, huh? Yeah. Boys it's, it know more about hair yeah. than us. Yeah, you should What's hear me. I can well. hold court on vaginas as well. <laughs> By the way, if you go up the valleys, I beg your pardon? if you go up the valleys, the <laughs> South Wales valleys, oh, sorry, I thought, have you never been taken up the valleys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't. I've you. always been curious, though. <laughs> because you if you want to go there, Ruth is your girl. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. You're yes, the one to. My first experience of being taken well, up the no, valleys. No, if you want to go up the valleys, you'll find that the vagina is called the Vajorjo. The Vajorjo. The Vajorjo. I have a friend who's... Uh, I've heard of Vajiji. Who, ..who said that uh, somebody came to talk to her the other day and they said that they were having problems with their Vajorjo. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? My Vajorjo. It's quite affectionate. Sounds like a horse, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but moving swiftly on from Vajorjo's, I just have to talk to you about a major thing that's happening on Friday the 29th of April, everybody. Oh, yes. My show, show at the Royal Albert Hall. Your show at the Royal Albert yeah. Hall, which a lot of people will be attending that's, if... It was, it was a good booking, wasn't it? <laughs> Sensible booking. <laughs> because if they're not attending your concert, they might be attending the Royal Wedding. They might be, yeah. And, uh, I'd just like to say that I booked the Royal Albert Hall for my concert before Will yeah. made the big mistake it's of popping It's quite selfish the of them, isn't it? Look at them. They're, they're laughing at you there, Tim. Well, no, I'm just worried that no one's going to no go to their wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what he's saying there. Yeah. Tim mentioned yeah. the double, We've double booked <laughs> in, his, in his feeling? great great we've uncle's a, hall. We've got a street party for your concert. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a yeah. bit of a fan of the royal weddings. I went to the last royal did wedding. You? I did, yes. Which one was the last one? 
Uh, well, I'm calling the last one the Diane Charles oh. one. That's the last big There's one. There's been a couple since then, but that was probably the high profile. Yes, one, so I was happy to turn up at that. Mind you, I would also turn up at a royal beheading. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not a major so royal, not a major one, but one of the not minor Prince ones. Not Prince Charles, because you want well, a little... Well, Tara, Farta, Tim, 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 Tim. <laughs> you know, someone like that. Come on, I, we'd all go to that. That would be an event. <laughs> <laughs> what, Tim, what about you? What do you feel about the royal wedding? Um... I try, I'm trying to feel something about it. Uh, <laughs> I have a sort of overwhelming sense of numbness. No, I, like, I love it. Oh, a wedding's fun, you Good. know? Something to put on, your, <laughs> put on your plates. I've got a plate of the Jubilee. The, is that the 50th? The Jubilee, got, no, 25th. I, I oh, the Silver Jubilee. The, the Silver Jubilee. I, I had a plate in my toilet in Melbourne, Australia, with her on it. In your toilet, actually in the toilet. You weed on it. No, no it was on, on the, the wall. wall. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Do you put plates in your toilet? Yeah. <laughs> We need to celebrate the royal wedding. Yeah, and, the, and the other thing we do, actually, is, 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 is we try and write songs uh, about the royal wedding. And I, and I have started one. Uh -huh. um, and I was just thinking, because you're such a, a genius when it comes to songwriting, as we've seen tonight, I was wondering if you would um, help me. See, I can do the first lines, but I can't do the rhyme. Um, okay. So I thought if we, if we kind of went down a little bit of a blues road and, and then um, oh, I'll yeah. sing you a line and maybe you could come back with a rhyme for me. Let's see, <laughs> see how we get on. Well, I'm, yeah, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, Tim. Can my lovely house band give me some music? Okay. Oh, April the 29th is a very special day. It's four weeks after March and two days before May. <laughs> Put up the bunting and get out the beer. Bunting is awesome and beer helps you stave off the misery. <laughs> See what Katie will wear. I'm willing to wager she'll dress as a bear. <laughs> Everyone will rejoice when the lovebirds get wed. What, wed? Wed. <laughs> Unless Will calls it off and comes to my show instead. <laughs> I will get to holidays. Oh, what a piece of luck. Lie in bed and watch TV and films. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Good well, resisting. Good resisting. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I have had a wonderful time tonight. Thank you to the Rockabellas and my lovely band.